Ding, 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 ding. I want to eat my pasta, so I'm going to hurry the fuck. What the fuck is this doing? Oh, God. It's one of those that's going to confuse the hell out of me. And then that goes here, 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 down here. That's not really taped. I should rewatch Severance. Season two. Ugh. Oh. It's one of those shows that doesn't complete in the first season, like just halfway through, but I, I wanna I wanna complete it. The Flamingo is here, everybody, which is the weird usually I name products that have terrible names. Like I just named a set of IMs the Night Riders. Because they're fifteen hundred dollars, and I'm sorry, you cannot call something the GL AMT sixteen if it's fifteen hundred dollars. Mmm. You always gotta get a little bit more creative. So Aoun was like, hey, our first tube amp. And they're like, Flamingo. I wonder if it has another name. Flamingo Tube DAC dash BT. This thing is small. Oh God. My Italianness has already ruined this. the butter from the pasta, probably on the fork. It doesn't matter, just don't, don't give me anything too expensive to hold. Let's drink some water. Mm. USB F7 tube. There's not enough stuff to wipe my hands on. Them greasy Italians. What else did we get in, oh my God. Did we get a remote? There's only this, oh my, there's so much shit in here. Maybe I won't touch the remote. Nah, fuck it, I'm gonna touch it anyway. So you get input, filter, right arrow, play and uh, up and down. There's also a screwdriver in here, probably to install a battery, or remove a battery from that. Own card, USB, regular, full-size cable. Holy shit, look at that antenna. Dude, that's a straight National Lampoon's like CB antenna. The fuck? <laughs> Owens put Bluetooth and things before. What is this? This is gonna go for four miles. This better be four miles of Bluetooth. It's, that is, <laughs> that's wild. Okay, so there's that, that, that. A regular antenna, okay, options. A quarter inch adapter, USB-C to USB-B adapter? I've never seen that before. Dude, I need to buy these. That's a full size like printer hard drive thing that goes to USB-C with a little lanyard attachment for like putting on your keychain. The RCA caps for your RCAs you're not using. And then I think this is probably the power brick. God, it literally littered my table. I was hoping to keep this place clean. Um, I, love, I love how it's shiny plastic and they put the protective plastic over it, but only covers like 60% of the actual plastic. Like, ooh, there's other plastic up here. Fuck that shit. Close enough. I, I, lots of things have to go in the garbage now. All this has to go in the garbage. How many amplifiers? 12 volt, two amps. Okay, and let's look at the actual unit now that I've undug this fucking thing. Oop, of course it's cancer. Oh, the tube can be hot when the device is working. Do not touch it. You realize I was the first um, reviewer in America to get an own product? The very first thing was the own Was it the X1S? I think it might have been the X1S. And I, I, I used that thing for years. And then I got rid of it and I had other things replaced it. Now on my desk, I've got the X1S GT with the reclocker. And then under that, the X8 Magic Deck. So anyway, this is what they're doing with their tubes. They're sticking them. Wow, that would be a fucking nightmare to get out of that hole. Holy shit. Do you think it actually comes? I don't think it comes out of that hole. I don't think I could actually squeeze that out of that hole. I think you have to take the whole thing apart. It's probably what the screwdriver's for. 
You gotta take these out, I think. No, it's too small, it's gotta be for this. Yeah, no, that's for that. So how the fuck, oh man, people are not gonna like that you can't change tubes. But it's own, it has a high res audio sticker, it's got a perfect spot here for a waifu. This whole thing is a display. You could see it's huge. What a fantastic looking little device. Rounded edges, other than the fucking high, I'm just taking the sticker off now, I'm not even gonna bother complaining about it. Anyone who gets one of these is gonna pull the sticker off. I'm just gonna stick the sticker like right there. Get that on this a little bit. So you get your digital knob here. You can actually see it, the potentiometer inside. And your quarter inch output, and then your little baby switch, your Bluetooth antenna, whichever one you decide. Your full size USB, which is now a USB-C. Coaxial input, and then left and right, I believe outputs. I believe outputs, you know, I don't even know. Should be outputs. This thing's gonna be cool as fuck. It's like 200 and something dollars though, so I better also kick ass. I have had amazing luck with own products, or on products. I like saying own. Jesus Christ, there's so much st fucking stuff. So many stuffs. I want more pasta before it gets cold. Put some pasta, this is Bucatini by the way. Pasta, could you link yourself in chat? Not your link tree, but you, okay, you could do your link tree, but Bucatini. Mm. Imagine if ziti had a hole in it. Imagine if um spaghetti was bigger and had a hole in it. That's Bucatini. Mm. Mm -mm -mm. Um. Oh, the IFI Uno. Actually, it goes with that. This is IFI's smallest desktop thing. Actually, no, I can't say that. Because IFI has made some like IDSD minis or micros or nanos that are really fucking small. I bet you they asked for this back too. Fucking IFI, they're the only company that doesn't realize, hey, maybe you should leave it there so Zios could pull it out for the next few weeks or months. Like, could you give me a $30 thing? Well, we want that back. We want that back, it's not yours. And I, like that sounds like first world fucking YouTuber problems, but nobody asks for anything back. Part of how I make money and live on the internet. Jesus, this, I'm, I'm, I'm corrected. This is the smallest thing they make besides the Go Blue. That is hilarious. It's actually got protective covers on the feet. I'm gonna leave them on there. I match, power match. Oh, oh. That is gonna be real hard to turn. That is a difficult to turn knob. That is a knob of like a giant unit that you wanna have like torque on and it's like, 4.4 4 out only? It's bigger than 3.5, right? 4.4 4 out only. I'm not gonna check that. Am I wrong? Is this a 3.5? I, I don't wanna be wrong. Not that I'm not wrong all the time. I don't know what it says, Saber deck. I really can't judge that. You know what, that might be a three point. It's, the size is fucking with me. What do I have that's a, that's a 3.5 millimeter? No, not my dick. Please stop saying that in the chat. Please, God. Um, huh. Oh, I am. So here you go. Literally a pile of them. Wow. This unit is so small. I thought a 3.5 millimeter was a 4.4. That's why people shave their balls. Um, so you get power match and EQ, and then you get the little buttons on top. It says game. YouTube, play button, and then music. Although these don't feel like buttons. They might be buttons, they don't feel like buttons. Maybe they light up. Maybe when you hit the EQ button, these light up differently. And then on the back you have DSD, MQA. I'm sorry, I've got to scratch my self. Your input is a USB, which it comes with. Nice little wrapped up USB-C. And you get your RCA outputs. This might be, I wonder if these are adjustable outputs. Breaking list the world's smallest USB preamp for like a DAC out to fucking speakers. Cause this thing's like 80 bucks. All right, I'm, 
I'm intrigued. You've got my intrigue. Oh wait, let's see. So, uh, it's ass, oh my God, it, it is a balanced output. My, my spider senses, that is a balanced 3.5 millimeter output. Uh, which means what? I have an adapter to go from 3.5 balance to full size four pin XLR. Am I, that's the dumbest shit. Just don't, or give me a 4.4. It's fine, I'm just talking to myself. They want you to be able to use a 3.5 or balanced S bow. I thought they gave up on that. I thought they gave up on that shit. Oh my God, this little baby IFI sticker is an IFI sticker. All right, one last thing. Throw away the silica packet. Have some more pasta, you say. I gotta see if the subwoofer's white. <laughs> because I ordered two of these Yamos. One of them had a bad amp. I was freaking out. And then they lost it in the fucking return. Like, not the one I returned, the one that they were sending me to replace it. It is white, okay. I was gonna have a little miniature freak out if it was black. Not there's anything wrong with a black subwoofer, but like if I have a white subwoofer and I want another white subwoofer, so they match? If they sent me a black one, I would need them to send me another black one so I can make an Oreo cookie. Anyway, the Yamaha C912. I got the first one for 130, the second one for 150. Now they're up to like 220. Still absolutely worth it. I just have to plug this in and make it make it do the go. I gotta not destroy these in case it has to be returned. But yeah. Well, can I lift it up by this fabric? I think I can. I think I can. I think I can. I think I can. I did. Alright, you've seen this already. Might as well fucking finish it off. Any damage to the corners? Nope, looks good. At least he's top four. Pop that bitch off. Boom! That's a huge 12 inch. It's not super powerful, but it doesn't need to be since it's such a large driver. And I can't wait to properly have two of these to kick ass and take names. So yeah, links to things and then pasta and then the anime wife. We'll see you later. Bunny girl!